Sarah. Sarah, can you hear me? It's Sam. Hey, hey! She's dying, okay? There's no stopping that now. We're, we're gonna finish this thing for you, okay? Sarah, we'll solve this mystery, I swear. She's... She's gone. Come on. Let's get going. It's not changing anything now. Zals. And if we're lucky, we'll be adding more. Hey, I've been talking with the others, and I'd like to get by. You know, to Sarah. Thank you. It wouldn't be the same without you there. I'll have everything set up in a few days. Maybe I would come up with something to say, but I've... So, instead, I thought I would quote something that gave me comfort a long time ago. Is God real? More proper question would be, is reality divine? Existence itself is a mystery which yearns to covered. What is goodness but a comparison to the good? What is existence but a participation in being. For where the diversity of the universe inspires awe and wonder, it exists only in contrast to a simplicity so pure that it may only be understood as primordial and even divine. Our essence is what was imagined by its mind, but what we consider imagining and what we consider mind are in fact so far beyond our understanding that even these metaphors are like the tiny white caps on a massive surging sea. There's more, but those are the parts that speak to me the most. I, um, thank you. I was really thoughtful, Mateo. Thank you. Does anyone else want to say anything? Thank you. If anyone else wants to say something. I don't often speak about what I believe. It seems so redundant. It's one of those occasions where it's hard not to look inward. Our friend is gone. There's no afterlife or second meetings. No God in heaven that is curating a perfect ending for them. So it's up to us. We are what lives on. If the pain of loss inspires us to greater action, then that is the good that comes from
Humanity is what truly creates our world. We are the ones that judge things to be good or evil, joyful or mournful. Let us take responsibility for it. Let us remember what we have lost. Walter, are you part of the House of Enlightenment? I never knew that. Yes, well, I, I keep some things private. You all might not like thinking about this, but when we die, everything about us breaks down, decomposes, gets eaten up by insects and microbes. Or due to the lack of a biosphere, we are simply carried away by space and time until we sizzle in a distant sun's corona or get pulled in some gravitational and coalesce with other debris. Not comforting, huh? But I disagree. Do you know what I find uncomfortable? The steel forever. Could you imagine? The fact is that the universe goes on. That life goes on. That things do not just sit still. That right there is the comfort that I need. Yeah, we die. And some people go way before they should. But the universe doesn't care. Not because it's evil, but because it's infinite. Ever expanding. And who wouldn't want to be a part of infinity? Even if it's just for a short while. Listen, we don't worry about ourselves before we were born, do we? Of course not. We emerge from the universe as we return to it. And for one beautiful moment, we are here together. Um, yes, that certainly was an interesting perspective, Barrett. Yes, I remember you, the wedding. I was so happy for both of you. I wish the circumstances of my visit were better. Unfortunately, this isn't the first constellation funeral I've been to. After 35 years, you say goodbye to a lot of friends. I hope you don't mind me saying, but I feel numb just thinking about it. Sarah meant the world to me. She was the future. I knew it as soon as I met her. Yes. She could make me so angry. Or so happy. We used to joke that we were married. <laughs> I bet relationships in Constellation are still messy, aren't they? I'm more of a family than an organization. All the former lines bleed together. It makes the losses sting harder. But I hope it means the time you had together was all the more important. That's how I like to think of it anyway. Exactly the same as when you met her, I bet. Determined. Fearless. With just a small hint of delight on her face when she knew she was winning, eh? My only problem as a mentor was trying to convince her to be more tactful. <laughs> Those old military instincts would always get her in trouble. Oh yes, I was Sebastian Bench's protege, if that gives you any idea of how long I was part of our little club. Knew him, argued with him, Tried to carry on his memory tomorrow, we always used to say. <laughs> it reminded us that he was still here, in the bones of this old building.
I hope this is all okay. Between fixing things up and sending out messengers and getting all the paperwork done. It's not much. I haven't really been sleeping much. I am. I'm not having the best dreams right now. Good. I... Good. Sorry, if I talk any longer, I'm gonna stop crying. Um, could you excuse me? It almost feels wrong to be grieving, selfish. No amount of tears will bring the dead back. It's easier to feel guilty if you'll excuse me. chat for a bit? Normally, I hate the people at funerals, but, well. You don't believe afterlife, do you? I mean, this might be the worst time to bring it up, but... Yes. Won't we all? Well, I've taken up enough of your time. You know, what you're feeling right now is a chemical reaction whose evolutionary goal is promoting social cohesion. Never seems to work for me, no matter. I, uh, I, I don't remember. I'm sure I did. I thought when the funeral was over, when everyone went home that night, that it was over. Turns out, sometimes you need more than that. Well, look at us. Two lone wolves howling at the moon on the same night. You know, if there's one piece of advice I can actually give you, it's that lost loved ones have a way of coming back to you. One day you'll be sweeping out some old shelf or digging through a desk and there it'll be. Some old paperweight of theirs. Jokingly. Theoretically. Nope, not even for a moment are there to remind survivors that they aren't alone. They'd have already finished their part in our story. You're welcome. Hey, stranger. Let's chat sometime, okay? She said that to me like a thousand times. It's just that I feel so alone. With Sarah, it was like starting a family again. The way she'd smile at me reminded me of my mom. I miss that so much. Now she's gone and I have to start over like I did before. It's not the same. Sarah was starting to feel like, well, like she was my new mom. I really don't want to go through this again. It's too hard. I can't believe Sarah's gone. It's not fair. You mean it? I, I would love for that to be true. Hey, um, thanks for talking to me. I'm actually feeling a little better knowing that you care how I feel. Maybe I'm not so alone after all. I am told these types of gatherings are a sad occasion. 
That assumption appears to be correct. No, I don't. I'm programmed to analyze sensory and biometric data, so I can cross you imply. I appreciate you verifying my analysis, although I am certain my thanks will do little to improve your current psychological trauma. If you would like, though, I can add some consoling language to my programming. It will take some time to adapt, but it will be okay. How was that? I will note that feedback for later. Hi. No. And don't keep asking. I'm not gonna be, alright? Everything's worse now. So many people here. So many people saying... Goodbye. Are we supposed to feel better just because we're all in one place? What's the point? It's not going to change anything. I just feel like I want to be a million light years away from everyone. I... want to be alone for a while, okay? Everyone is in mourning. I understand, but I cannot quite share in their emotion. After the shock of what happened faded, I have felt... Nothing else. Just a uh, numbness. I have seen death. I have lost people I considered close. But this is... It is not the same. I cannot explain why. I am not sure I am making sense. Thank you. Is it quieter in the lodge, or is it just me? Maybe. You know, there's an old Aquila story about two pioneers who got lost trying to find a new frontier to settle. One of them takes ill. Clear he's not gonna make it, he turns to his partner and says, Don't bury me. Let the ground take what it's due. I'd rather be a ghost chasing after you than walk through the pearly gates knowing an eternity of loneliness until you get there. Sad story, huh? There isn't? Huh, you travel around so much it gets hard to remember what goes where. Suffice to say, it's a story somewhere, and it seems... appropriate. Anyway, you look after yourself. Drink? Pour one out to the blackest sea?
two old friends. I 